A Child's Ukraine. My name is Liza Tarasova, and I'm very proud to be Ukrainian. As you know, there's currently a war in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin launched an invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February 2022. My beautiful country is being attacked by the Russian army as a result of the orders of the 69-year-old who born in St. Petersburg. This didn't surprise me, as there was already a war since 2014. Russia occupied Crimea in southeast Ukraine, so this is not the first time Ukraine has been invaded. In my view, this is all down to Putin's desire for more. Maybe Russians could stand up to him, but I understand that this will be difficult. Now, I know this is an emotional conflict with children and adults on both sides. You will not agree with all the comments I make, but I want us to open a discussion. I do not want my talk to be inflammatory, nor encourage the idea of us and them. Instead, I just want to share a 10-year-old girl's perspective. You might not have heard so many children talk so publicly about the war in Ukraine. I'm here to do just that. I want to build consensus, but also express my feelings. Maybe some good will come from this war. For example, this might be a good opportunity for the blue and yellow to build back for a better and much safer, prosperous future. As a citizen of Ukraine, I have family and friends who have to stay in basements because the air raids blare all day. Now, you may ask how this affects people outside of Ukraine. Well, the situation is a crisis for the world. Many crops were made in Ukraine, such as sunflower seeds, maize, barley, and wheat, but not anymore. Harvests are paralyzed, contributing to a sharp rise in food prices in Britain. Some people are scared this will, be, this will come to World War III. I believe that Ukraine is acting like a shield for the world because we fight until the end. However, we are running out of supplies and machinery and desperately need help from others. Unfortunately, Putin is one of the world's richest men. He has endless money to throw at missiles. Ukraine is still in a difficult position. Others are scared, and we appreciate the marches of support around the world. Thank you for your help. Despite this, our beautiful country continues to be targeted. I just hope Putin is capable of thinking about others and not just spreading his own agenda. We are all normal people who are just proud of our culture and we're not nationalists who need removing. Many children were forced to flee Ukraine, leaving their old life behind. Multiple children had to cross the border alone since their parents were severely injured, dead or kidnapped. Not all the kids could leave the country. Millions had to stay and since they had no way of going to school, they worked online. There are videos on YouTube of teachers who went to war giving their classes in trenches. A lot of children don't even get the chance to work online. For example, if their local network tower was destroyed. Put simply, Ukrainian children are hugely impacted. Balloons. We love blowing them up and we love popping them even more. Perhaps you once chucked a water balloon at your friend. What's not to love about them? Well, in Ukraine, balloons do not bring happiness to kids anymore. They are a symbol of danger. They're banned in play centers and birthday parties because if a balloon pops, children are reminded of an explosion. This is traumatic, their innocence is taken away. In the context of war, children must be grown-ups. We now, instead, have to cling on to their great energy, imagination, and silliness. This war is terrible. However, it reminds us of our generosity and togetherness, what it means to be human. So how can you help? There are many charities that you can donate to. At school, I even made a blue and yellow donation box. Even if this war is not in the news so much now, it's really important to keep up your support. You could organize a bake sale to raise your own money. For example, protesting can also help. 
which is the one near Hyde Park. After all, we are fighting for democracy, for peace and for our world. Let's act now to protect our futures. Thinking more positively, what can we learn from this crisis? He had two ideas. Firstly, let's engage all children in thinking about world events. Do you watch the news? Do you think about your own opinion? Do you listen to the opinion of others? These are important questions to ask yourself. In my view, we must get children more involved in current affairs. We must trust and respect them to discuss the most serious problems in our world. Do not hide war from us. Let us talk about it. However, children should be taught not to believe everything they read. Give us different sources to look at, which, can, which will allow us to come to our own opinions. Returning to the war in Ukraine, we must remember that the news gets bored easily. Ukraine is still being invaded, but we do not hear as much about it now. It's old news, but it's still very important. Another lesson we can learn is to treat everyone with respect, no matter where they are from. For example, I respect Russian people, and I have never said they are bad. In fact, I am friends with many Russian children who I go to different events with. This is not a war we should bring into the playground. Let's be children. It doesn't matter whether you're Ukrainian or Russian. We don't need to be dragged into disrespect and division. Let's listen to each other and come to our own views. Yes, but with respect. This is my final idea. We're just human at the end of the day. I am 10 years old. I care about my country. And I hope you can hear my passion, but also my pain about this war. I hope this can be resolved soon. Yes, I do blame one man in Moscow for this tragedy, but I would rather focus on the future. What could you do to help? Just like with all the other wars, there are many ways to show support. Ukraine is the country I love. The colors of our flag best represent how I feel. The blue skies of hope lie above the yellow fields full of crops. I want to see those skies again. I want to play in those fields again. I want to see the blue and yellow again. Our country will be the story of survival. Stand with Ukraine, Slavo Ukraine.